Hey guys, it's Tom here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to make multicolored or rainbowed um, colored text and logos in Cinema 4D. It's something I do quite often, and I don't know why it's such a suggested tutorial, it's actually really easy, but... Um, anyways, first obviously open a Lightroom. We're going to use Nignog too, love that. Okay. Like, it's honestly just as simple as this, what's... Uh, Let's pick a word, I guess tutorial works again. I just um, do each and every individual letter as a different color. It's as simple as that. So you just uh, go through the rainbow, red, and then and you just, uh, you just move them so that they all fit and then you duplicate that. Change it to orange change the letter to you I'm gonna link all this stuff again in uh, the description so uh, if you don't have this Lightroom or the font or you know all that stuff um, for the logos it's not more complicated but it's not as simple as just uh, uh, duplicating the layers okay um, anyways you get the point you just um you make a different text layer for each color and then so when you do it it'll be a rainbow it looks I really like how it looks and I like doing rainbow backgrounds so I know you guys might be getting bored of them but I'll probably uh, stay away from them for a bit now because I'm getting bored of doing them too. But I don't know. I think it looks really good. Now, how I do um, the logos in different colors, like for example, what I did for Skittles background. Let's find it. Fuck. Um, see how the Darth logo is actually like multicolored I I just make a AI like that so we're gonna use the phase logo just cuz it's so simple um, so open up an AI for example the phase logo all right open up a oh what the fuck sorry open up the PNG of like a 2d of the logo that you want to make multicolored. So, the phase logo. And you're just going to pen tool random shapes. So, you take your pen tool and you literally just say you want this shape to be like that. You'll just fuck. Oh, that's bad. I'll just break it like this. Uh, like that. Just literally make whatever shapes you want. And then you do right here. Yeah. Just keep making random shapes so that when you bring it into Cinema 4D, you can just make different uh, extrude nerves layers and make them different colors I think it looks really cool and it's what I did on my Enov background for that uh, that competition that was the first one that I made like this I think it looks awesome so you guys gotta suggest more tutorials too I know doing a color correction tutorial is kinda something that's been suggested a lot but when I tried doing it I couldn't talk I don't know I just had a hard time coming up with things to say so maybe I can try it again we'll see see that's a pretty shitty job right there it missed out on or it overlaps but this is just rough okay so now that you have the phase logo all in um, paths you just export paths to illustrator work path Save it to your desktop. I save mine as like whatever clan it is broken. So phase broken. 
Um, then we're gonna merge that file into here. Make it a little small. Okay, now we have six layers. So just make six extrude nerves layers. That's seven, but whatever. And same as doing a normal logo now. You just piece it together and then we'll show you the colors from thereafter. While we're here, I might as well show you how I make my layer or my text and my uh, logos. I go um, go on your layers, go to movement in in the objects tab, and put it change it from twenty to a hundred. Um, go to caps tab, start cap, fillet cap, radius, 0.75, end cap, fillet cap, 0.75 gives it a nice look once you uh, put the rest of it on so that's uh, red orange oh, what the fuck yellow green blue sometimes I skip colors just if they're similar like indigo is similar to blue so yeah and there you got your multicolored phase logo. Now we're gonna duplicate those, delete the colors, and change it just to a, a black material. This one will do. <clears throat> and then you're gonna want to select those layers, go back to the objects tab, and change it from 100 now to 10 and go to caps and instead of 0.75 make it 1.75 for both the start and end fill the cap you might want to make it more sometimes I do up to three just depending on uh, if it's like how much it shows and then we're gonna layer it a little bit and then you're just gonna keep duplicating that layer and make as many as you want That should be fine. Not the nicest looking one, but I think it looks okay. Yeah, it's not bad. Uh, okay, so <clears throat> that's it for this tutorial. Um, make sure to drop a comment on what else you'd like to see so that I can make some more for you guys. And sorry for being so inactive lately. I just kind of got bored. I don't know. I'm having more fun just playing Xbox and hanging out. And if you guys make any sick rainbow backgrounds after watching this tutorial, put them as a video response so I can check them out. Thanks, guys. It's Tom. Peace.